हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स आई होप यू हैव सीन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो इन विच आई टोल्ड यू और रादर कंडक्टेड अ पोल देयर ऑन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज अ परफेक्ट नंबर सो इन दिस वीडियो आल्सो ऑन मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट सम वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग मैथ फैक्ट्स एंड दीज फैक्ट्स विल रियली लीव यू अमेज यू विल वंडर how much the mathematicians have worked in order to give us these facts the term which i am taking up is known as perfect numbers so there are some numbers which are known as perfect numbers and we will study in detail about these perfect numbers today for developing 10 times faster speed of calculation you know we have a 24 pdf short trick course and this short trick course is a much sought after course because uh, you know this is preferred by teachers educators academies uh, you know to teach mental maths vedic maths they are using this uh, course and uh, you know selling this course for uh, uh, you know thousands and we offer this course for very very nominal cost so whatsapp Nine eight nine six three six double nine six three. You know, if you are looking uh, for uh, development of some special skills in your child uh, in, during this pandemic when uh, the students cannot go to school, then this twenty-four PDF short trick course is, is for you. Not only ten times faster speed of calculations. You know, you know the, these are the ways in which you can crack those multiple choice questions very, very quickly. You know, traditional uh, methods and uh, uh, these methods which have been given in this uh, short trick course are like uh, we cannot compare them in terms of time consumption. So go for this short trick course. Nine eight nine six three six double nine six three is the WhatsApp number on which you need to send me a message. Mind you, a very, very nominal cost associated with this course. now let us study what are perfect numbers so many many of you answer to that question quickly and when i said uh, perfect numbers they these are some special numbers which you know have a particular property so perfect numbers for understanding this term you need to first understand what are proper divisors proper divisors so a number can have a number of divisors like suppose if i talk of 18 18 is divisible by 1 2 3 6 9 and 18 so all these are divisors of 18 but if i have to write only the proper divisors then just leave the number itself so if you eliminate 18 from this list of divisors then all other numbers 1 2 3 6 9 they are known as proper divisors of 18 so these are known as proper divisors now if i add all these proper proper divisors let me see what do i get 9 plus 6 is 15 plus 3 18 and uh, 3 21 this number is not equal to the number itself so now you must be guessing what are perfect numbers right if sum of all proper divisors of a number sum of all proper divisors of a number is equal to the number itself the number itself then we call that number as a perfect number i'll give you an example see suppose you talk of 6 what are the various divisors of 6 1 2 3 and 6 but since i want to take only the proper divisors i will not consider the number itself so the proper divisors are 1 2 and 3 and if you add 1 2 and 3 you are going to get 6 which is equal to the number itself so sum of the proper divisors 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6 which is the number itself therefore 
this number 6 is a perfect number. Now, understanding a property is one thing. So you have understood now what are pro proper, uh, what are uh, proper divisors, what are perfect numbers. But how do you track the next proper number, the proper divisors or perfect numbers? Identification of next perfect number is a difficult job. But you know our mathematicians have worked it out for us. It is only that we need to be uh, we need to act like a researcher and we need to search about things which are all already available to us so who did it for us euclid so euclid was the person who told us how to find perfect numbers and you will be really amazed when i tell you the method which he adopted for deriving the perfect numbers Basically, there's a there's a expression which he gave and he said that this expression can be a perfect number subject to a particular condition. So I am going to discuss that condition with you now. Look at this table. Euclid said that 2 raised to power n minus 1, this is one factor, multiplied by 2 raised to power n minus 1. So there is a difference between the bracket and the term which is outside the bracket. This can be a perfect number if the term in the bracket that is this term is prime. Now we need to find a value of n for which 2 raised to power n minus 1 is prime. So this table demonstrate that. So we started with n equal to 1. This factor 2 raised to power n minus 1, the value in this case will be 1 only because 2 raised to power 1 minus 1 2 raised to power 0 is 1. So I have listed down all the values of 2 raised to power n minus 1. In case of n equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 13, we have listed down, down the values. Basically, they are powers of 2, right? But the factor under consideration is 2 raised to power n minus 1. Minus 1 is in the base, not in the power. So, if you take n equal to 1, 2 raised to power 1 is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1. If you take n equal to 2, 2 raised to power 2 is 4, 4 minus 1 is 3. 2 raised to power 3, 8, 8 minus 1 is 7, 2 raised to power 4, 16, 16 minus 1 is 15, 2 raised to power 5, 20, 32, 32 minus 1 is 31 and so on. So you obtain this list of numbers. So Euclid said that this, this factor 2 raised to power n minus 1 has to be a prime number. So let's check. Is 1 prime? No. Is 3 prime? Yes. Is 7 prime? Yes. Is 15 prime? No. 31? Yes. After that 63? No. 127? Yes. And after that these are all no's. They are not primes. And after that n equal to 13 gives us this number 8191 which is prime. So up to a huge number you know, there are only five perfect numbers. So corresponding to these values, where we get prime numbers like 3, 7, 31, 127, uh, not, uh, yeah, 127 and then 8191. If you multiply the two factors, 2 raised to power n minus 1 and 2 raised to power n minus 1, you are going to get 6, 28, 496, 8128 and look at that number after that. Double three, double five, zero, double three, six. All these numbers are actually perfect numbers. So I give you the example of six. This is the smallest perfect number. Smallest perfect number. But after six, the next number is 28. This is what was the answer of the community post, the poll which I conducted on the community post.
After that, 496 is the only three-digit number which is a perfect uh, number. And then four-digit number 8128. And after that, the number 33550336 is a perfect number. So you can see, friends, only five numbers up to as large as eight-digit numbers are perfect numbers. You know, uh, hats off to all these mathematicians who have produced these kind of results. You know, uh, it's it's like the thinking itself is uh, far far away from a normal uh, person. And even if we try to understand these things, you know, and we uh, get to know, okay, this is the this is the basic procedure involved in finding the perfect number. That itself is an achievement. Think of people who have worked on it and given us these kind of results so an amazing concept there perfect numbers the smallest perfect number is six and the fifth perfect number has eight digits so friends i hope you have enjoyed this uh, video of perfect numbers and uh, got benefited by this enrichment you know that is what is required especially when now uh, in the pandemic situation we are stuck in our homes uh, we should look at it as an opportunity of self-development so let's study all these things and thanks for watching this amazing video of perfect numbers do share it with all your friends who are you know looking to uh, uh, gather these concepts and uh, enrich themselves do subscribe the channel and click the bell icon for getting all the notifications of future uploads and don't forget to go for the 24 pdf short trick course which will help you develop 10 times faster speed of calculations thanks for watching this